Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the default folder in Filmora 10. So you know that when you make video for a month or two months or stuff like that, your computer become out of space uh, because the installation file of Filmora 10 is on your C drive. So uh, quickly, uh, you will run out of empty space on your C drive uh, very quickly because of the proxy folder and render case and project folder and, and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to change it to uh, E drive or D drive or other other drive on your computer. Okay, let's go. So first thing, uh, we can uh, create a new project here. Uh, this is Filmora 10.5, and we are going to create a new project. Okay, so right inside Filmora 10, uh, we can go to Files and select Preferences. Okay, and there's some important folder. Firstly, we go to the folder here, and now we have the download the file, temporary files, and recorded files. For example, if I want to record my computer screen and I want to change the location where the program saved my recording, I can uh, change it here uh, at the recorded file. So I can click uh, at this uh, folder icon. Okay, just click on that, and then I'm going to change it to my uh, to other drive on my computer. For example, this is the C drive, uh, the E drive, and we can create a new folder uh, here. And then we can just uh, create this Filmora 10, enter, and inside here we can uh, create a new folder, uh, screen recording. Okay, and then we can select this folder. Okay, as a default uh, folder, select it. And now, uh, whenever I record my computer screen, it will be saved in this location, uh, E drive, Filmora 10, and screen recording. Okay. So that is for the recorded, uh, recorded file, which is the screen recording. And uh, the other part is at the performance tab. If you want to change the proxy folder, because um, when you make video, there are many proxy files uh, in your computer, and you can uh, change it right here. Uh, the proxy location. You can do the same, uh, clicking this button, and then create a new folder here called proxy file. Okay. And then you can click OK. And that is how you can change the default location, this default folder in Filmora 10. It is very easy, right? And another thing about the export, you can also uh, make the default uh, folder for your export video also. Go to video, uh, let's try and drop a video on the timeline. Okay, so now I'm going to export it. And validating resources, okay, just wait a moment. And now we can change this folder this is a default folder so okay so we can click on this button again and now we can create a new new folder export folder enter and then we can select this folder okay and now we can export our video and that is how you can change the default folder for your exported video okay next time when you open Filmora 10 and you export another project it will be in that folder okay that is very easy right so that is how you can change the default folder in Filmora 10 i hope that this tutorial can help you if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye